is the game that the NFL wants you wants you to forget. Let's get into it. Oh, no, nah, that ain't funny. That ain't funny. Oh, y'all can't hear? Thank God. Thank God y'all can't hear what I laughed at. Sorry about that. Y'all can't hear what I laughed at. Good, 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 good. The fans have got to control themselves. People are getting hurt. December 16th, 2001, marks a day that the NFL wants you to forget. Muted, buddy, you're it on your phone. You're an utter catastrophe. A day where NFL officiating was a total disaster and showed how scary and disgraceful an angry mass of sports fans can be. But first, let me take you back a few years to really put this into context. Well, this music right here, amazing. Coming up on hey. Sports Center. Artwork. The Browns are indeed coming to Baltimore. The Browns make a run for Baltimore, leaving no joy behind in Cleveland. In 1995, Cleveland Browns owner Art Modell had become public enemy number one. After he decided to move the Browns to Baltimore after that season, to say that Browns fans were upset would be a massive understatement. The NFL was created in Canton, Ohio, their franchise. Oh, oh, and Yo, losing teams is terrible. Like, bro, a lot of cities, like, they think it's money. 69 got. just resubscribed for seven months. I'm back, Froggy. Yo, appreciate you for seven months, money. Appreciate you, gang. Ohio, which is now home to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. That's only an hour away from Cleveland. Taking away the Browns would be like if the MLB allowed the Yankees to be relocated. Fans no. begged and pleaded for the NFL to give their franchise back. And after three seasons without a football team, Cleveland got their wish. Only one season after they got them back, their former team had already won yep. a Super Bowl. Yo. After their first two seasons. It hurts. Cleveland. Cleveland hurt. Because y'all ain't, 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 have a, ain't have a winning season, a winning Super Bowl team in so long. Um... When I ask you, well, your real franchise is winning bold. My brother power bombed me through a glass table and we all got our ass beat. As, as y'all should, badass kids. As y'all should. That's crazy. Seasons ended in disappointing fashion. They had finally gained some momentum in 2001. Hey, Tess, Throughout the first 12 fact. games, the, game. the Browns had fought to a respectable 6-6 six six record. Matched up at home versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. This was a must win if the Browns wanted a shot at the playoffs. White lines up as the single set With a minute left, the Browns down by a five. They need to score a touchdown. But more importantly, they have to get a first down now. It's fourth and two. If they don't convert here, Yo, it's you don't the know left. Then watch yourself, D-Rose. looks back side underneath. And it's caught Morgan with the catch at the 10. And he did a tremendous job to hang on to the football. Gets the first down, clock still running. Now just spike the ball, don't even waste the play. Or maybe they're even calling a play. And he spikes it. And the clock okay. stops with 48 seconds remaining. What's going on? And I'm just wondering if it, well, that was gonna be one of those fake spikes. Yeah, I thought he was gonna do that. Now here's the dilemma. Jaguars coach Tom Coughlin is begging for an intentional grounding, which was true. You can't fake a spike and then spike it. Yeah, this should be a penalty was weird and a shit. loss of down. Hey, the announcers are in agreement. This looks like this will be the call on the field. Even though it'll hurt the Browns, they still have a chance to win the game. I seen it. So this is I don't what know what you're talking about. Yeah, that was that was that was some weird shit. On the previous play, the fourth down play, they tried the, to buzz the referees on the. And they wanted the ref to take a look at where the ball was oh, on the Quincy Morgan reception to review it. Replay buzz prior to the snap. We'll be looking to see if the last pass was incomplete or complete. That's the fourth down reception by Quincy Morgan. Whoa, wait, that's not how replay works. Everybody knows that you are not allowed to replay something that happened two plays ago. That's one of the most basic rules of the entire replay system. 
Time oh, was no. now going by. Oh, there was no, no words from the refs. No one knew what was going on. Players were confused. Coaches were confused. The fans obviously had no idea what was going on. Stop but worst of all, down. the refs didn't know either. Which I've never seen happen. Ain't no way. If you get the snap off, you got away with it. That's how it's supposed to go. After review, the pass is incomplete. First, first down, Jacksonville. Wow. Nah, f*** out of here. Nah, f*** So they say he was f*** out of the ball. Out and of what here. Bush Davis is saying right now is we ran another play. And like I said, in the history of replay, Gus, check Discord once DMs I sent vids for you to react I've never to. Seen them go Don't back forget and say the candy tier list and you move for full tray, so really. This left everyone you. on the Brown sideline pissed, but you want me to play there was a Saints much game. bigger we'll problem that. that had begun taking place. Following the game, one of the side referees came out and said, quote, It was scary to the extent that we didn't know if we were going to get hit by bottles or if the fans were going to charge the field. Eric Westmoreland, a member of the Jaguars team, was quoted saying, They are throwing bottles from behind our bench, so we migrated towards the 50-yard line. With the mob mentality, this crowd of angry fans was capable of anything. One thing was for sure, those refs weren't getting off this field very easy. With no signs of this crowd slowing down, and the players, coaches, and refs just trying to stay as far away as possible, with time still left on the clock, out of desperation, this is what happened. And now they're gonna call that the game. That is the end of the game. Unbelievable. Now they call the game. Well, that was with the right 48 call. seconds to go. Yeah, you gotta take I think process. that, I think That's this cool. has been That's just cool. a fiasco by the referees today. The I'm not gonna lie, I understand why they canceled the game because it's no longer safe. It's not a safe environment. The fans are throwing shit. There's nothing to stop them from throwing it. But the fact that wrestling they story. This shit. I was wrestling my cousin back in the third grade on some little nigga shit. Mm -hmm. We were going back and forth whole time till he tried to RKO me. I wasn't mm -hmm. going for that, so I got low and Batista bombed his ass. I didn't know it was into bricks. How do you Batista bomb from an RKO? How you even do that? What kind of shit you got going? And y'all slamming niggas in the bricks? Y'all should never wrestle. All my stories is crazy. All my stories is normal as hell. Never mind. Never mind. Never motherfucking mind. Never mind. But, uh... <laughs> Yo, Jamaica. Um, also... But yeah, man, listen, dog, you can't fucking replay no play that already happened. Fans have got to control themselves. People are getting hurt. That was two plays ago. It's ridiculous. You're only hurting yourself by throwing stuff on the field. And the officials are pummeled as they head no, into the locker room. And Butch Davis is Yo, this speechless. This is in fucking sane. Oh, my God. He doesn't know what to say or what to do. What so fuck? now, here's the scenario. The refs, players, and coaches had all exited the field and were in their respective locker rooms, many of whom were scared of getting hurt, and at least now they could breathe a little. Oh, wait. The league office just called. They're making the teams and the referees what go the back fuck? on the field and finish the game. Why would it they do that? 20 minutes, and now they're being forced to go back out there and have the Jags take a knee to officially end it. A member of the Browns years later said, quote, Guys were undressed. Butch had already talked to the team. The Jaguars player from earlier was also quoted saying, This was a big uproar because the coaches were like, Hey. Well, they really do not care about the safety of the players and it's fucking insane. Dog, that is an unsafe environment for your employees. And you're going to send them back out there. Hey, they're then, to be out there, you need refs. They don't give a fuck about the refs. Because, nigga, they targeting the refs. Still throwing bottles. We don't want the players to go back out there. The league didn't care. Clearly. That's crazy. And here's another twist. Some fans believed that they you all came back the on the field people, because they were going to reverse the call. The head of Cleveland's Protective Services came out and said, When they restarted the game, I think that some fans believed that the referees reversed the decision as far as the play with the receiver. The fans thought that was a football decision. This wasn't the case. Both teams gathered 11 random players to go back out there just for this. This was a complete and utter embarrassment from the referees to the Browns fans in the stadium who threw beer bottles and other items to the league office for forcing these players and refs to go back out there. And lastly, to the Browns owner, Al Lerner 
and President Carmen Policy for making these comments. As I said, I'm not criticizing our fans at all. Why not? Because I don't think it's appropriate today. It wasn't. It wasn't uh, pleasant. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't suggest that. I ain't gonna lie. A part of me. Let's come. Let me. It's real nigga time. A part of me, like man, fuck it. Like, well, they fucking cheated. The fans deserve to be mad. It is what it motherfucking is. But at the same time, you can't condone what they fucking did. You can't do that. You can't, nigga. Because anytime some shit don't go their way, now they're going to think that we can just fucking throw shit. You can't do that, bro. Anything like that, but but it wasn't World War Three. I don't uh, see any, any... They throwing shit at the fucking Jaguars. They throwing glass bottles. You know! Terrible criticism uh, that would be called for for the fans. I think everybody controlled themselves, considering that uh, uh, they spent 60 minutes out in some pretty bad weather getting uh, bounced around pretty hard. Depending upon how it's... The fans deserve to be mad, too. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck, that's some bullshit. But if niggas threw a bunch of toilet paper and shit on the field, fuck that shit, nigga. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Ah, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Nah, them niggas throwing bottles. In the beginning of the clip, they said a nigga got hit in the head and it bust his head open, bro. Nah, bro. It's depicted. Uh, people will understand. No one got hurt. No one got hurt. Something very weird. Hit him and, uh, in his head? People. Uh, people will understand. No one got hurt. Something very weird happened. So, fine, we didn't have the most stable people in the world sitting in the stands, and uh, people reacted. Nah, that's nutty. That's nutty. What the fuck? Hey, but, video. but it wasn't World War Three. The fans got to stop video. throwing crap. We just saw a guy get hit in the head, and he's down. Split his head wide open. Like this video. So Here I got to ask you a question. Have you wanted to create a website to promote your nope. work? Yo, this is a hell of a video though. KTO, I like your content, bro. That shit didn't take long to do the video. Yo, that was fire. That was a fire video. All right, what's the next one?